What's good? I just wanted to touch on this uh, this little video that uh, Carrie Davis kind of put together. And uh, you know, I was kicked out the group that he had African Americans ain't African, which I thought was a cool group. You know, they had a lot of good information in that group. But all I was doing was bringing my research into the group. And what I noticed when I was doing that, you, you get demonized. You get what I'm saying? Now, when I came in the group, I had a question because, you know, he kept saying, you know, he's indigenous, you know, he's Native American, this and that, we ain't African. And I, I get that. But I have came into research with, uh, you know, some, some other things that was deeper than what he was talking about. So I actually was trying to get to that. But before I can get to it, he, I got kicked because of other things that I might have uh, was bringing into the group. You know what I'm saying? Because um, the Darwin's theory, for example, I don't believe that. So I couldn't get to this. I was trying to tell him that I didn't think that we are, you know, we, were, we, were, we wasn't a part of Darwin's theory. You know, us Nubians or Negroids. We wasn't a part of that theory. You know, that theory is actually a hominid theory. And the hominids that, from, from what I researched, you know what I'm saying, or, and what I believe, you know what I'm saying, because I will put together the research. But I think the Caucasian is the hominid. And that the indigenous people were already here all over the world. You get what I'm saying? But the oldest remains that they found on the planet was the hominid. You get what I'm saying? That was, that was found 3.5 million years ago. And this hominid could have, you know, evolved into this Caucasian that, that you see right now. You get what I'm saying? They could be the Africans. You get what I'm saying? The pyramids in America, they, they are much older than the pyramids in Egypt. You get what I'm saying? Now, as far as with people saying that the, 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 the pyramids in, in Gaza was, uh, you know, put together in the 1700s, the 1800s, that's, that's debatable. We, you, you can't prove that just because you see them moving stuff around or recreating stuff. That's not proof that that stuff was made in the 1700s, 1800s. You know, like, I mean, because that's the kind of debate that I run into in his groups. You know, they kind of indoctrinate it. You, you get what I'm saying? He indoctrinates people. And what I mean by that is if you are not on the narrative that he wants you to be on, then, then you're kicked. And when I was trying to tell him that all life started in Africa, my whole research for me saying that was that reality is inverted. You know, this is an inverted reality. You get what I'm saying? They're going to tell you certain places are certain places that might not be the place. Like for one, Africa. Actually, I was saying that Africa was America because of the pyramids being older and stuff like that. Not saying that that makes America the birthplace. You get what I'm saying? But I, I go back for, you know, further in the research. You know, I, go, I even go back to the Pangaea. You know, when the continents, you know, everything connected. You get what I'm saying? So when I think, I think like that, he did not give me a chance to explain any of this. He only wants you to stay stuck in slavery. You know, he wants you to stay stuck in the 1600s. Like, I'm trying to go before that. You get what I'm saying? But he can't go before that. And then he never let me even express the point that the oldest human bones that were found was found in the, in the Americas. You get what I'm saying? The name Luthia. Everybody should know this in the conscious community. You know, uh, she said to be 18 to 50,000 years old because they did dig 50,000 years into the earth crust. You know, and they found remains of animal pieces that they these indigenous people were eating. And when they said Luthia, they said this skull was the skull that they, you know, the oldest of them all. If you look at that video, I, I can't really remember the name, but I'll put it in the, in the link or I'll throw it up in the edit. But this brother right here, man, he's really, he'd be tripping, man. So I'm going to just play some of this stuff because he was talking about me. I was the guy that got kicked out of his group. So let's, let's hear what he's talking about. Now I build on it. It's the other side of the word. And the reason we call it other side of the word is because it seems a lot of the people who call themselves African-American, black, Negro, nigger, color, what we do is we, we deviate away from what our parents have passed down for us. And we jump down, we jump into all these other foreign ideologies. 
and it does nothing but brings mass confusion, mass confusion into the community. And that's the problem we have. And, and what I'm noticing is, and this is with the older people, we can forget about the civil rights bunch. Their time is up. They've did what they've done and you see, you, you see how it ended up. So we're talking about, you know, what's going on with us now and, and, and how are we going to survive this? Because we've been put in a very shitty position. Now, one of the things that Negroes really like to do, they like to get emotionally attached to all of these ideologies and all of these beliefs that they are in, especially when you ask them to expound on what they're talking about. They can't even me. explain what they're in. That's Christians, Muslims, all that stuff. They can't explain it. And so that's what we here at African Americans ain't Africans do. Explain yourself. His indoctrination. We don't need no more trouble. We don't need no more confusion. If you're making a statement, if you're saying something, simply explain it. If you can't explain it, get the fuck on. Because you're the reason we're in this position. Had a had a problem with a young man last week trying to get into the group. What's his name? The brother that's in jail for having sex with the kids. One of his little uh, minions. This brother's going all around the net, dropping the, dropping the video we did last week, talking about we kicked him out of group. A little boy, he's acting like a little three or four year old boy. And the reason we kicked him out of the group because he claims that he's Nuwabian. What's a Nuwabian? Where are they from? What do they do? Who are the women who birthed the Nuwabians? Where are they on the map? Where is Nuwabian land on the map? And all this brother, he can't answer no questions. And this is the position we put our children in. Okay. Now, when he asks some of those questions, but on top of that, he kept asking me about Dr. Malachi York's case, which I have, I, I don't I don't build on that because the research is out there, it's on the internet. If you wanna know about it, that's what I told him. I said, if you wanna know about Dr. York's case, just go and research it. Go research the New Opians, go research uh, Dr. Malachi York. You get what I'm saying? I said, I'm not here for that. I was just telling you that's my chief. You know what I'm saying? And that I'm a New Opian. You know what I mean? Where's New Wapia? I mean, where's, you know, where the land is in New Wapia? Where's this? And where did the mother birth it? Like, you know, crazy questions. And this is just the tribe, you know, that the master teacher put upon the people. And we, we elected them as a chief. You get what I'm saying? So it was, it was, it's, that's a naturalizing process, process. You get when people, uh, you know, they identify themselves with a tribe, a Native American tribe. You get what I'm saying? So... I did not understand what he was, was, was trying to say right there because that was really basic. And all I was trying to present to him, I was saying if basically if you are indigenous, you know, aboriginal, I said, did you change that into the, you know, in the far as in the system? Because the Wapians don't agree with me with this either, you know, far as like going into the system and changing your status. American Indian or Alaska Native A person having origins in any of the original peoples of North and South America, including Central America, who maintains cultural identification through tribal affiliation or community attachment. Black or African American A person having origins in any of the black racial groups of Africa. White a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East, or North Africa. And stuff like that. But I feel like if you were born, you were born in a status. You know, when you were born, Carrie Davis, into the New Wapians, you were born off the way you look. You know, they called you black or Negro 
or for the way you look, or African American. So that's your status. You get what I'm saying? In the system. So wouldn't you have to revoke that status and correct it? You get what I'm saying? Or just revoke it? Have you people done any of that? You get what I'm saying? And that's what I was asking him. I was saying, well, basically, you know, show me your status. If you're saying you're indigenous, can you can you show, let me see that you're indigenous? Because I still think that you are African American. And I know a lot of y'all probably haven't seen my videos, but it's a dude, Chief Nanya. You know what I'm saying? He 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 exposed this whole thing. As far as like uh, that with the SF-181 form and what the definitions mean, and you know, as far as uh, stat, he ain't exposed that. Because the Moors, I've been heard of that, but he exposed that form and put a lot of attention to where people is actually paying attention to the status. And being black isn't a color, it's a status. You get what I'm saying? And being white, that's a status. Native American, that's a status. Because everybody born in America is a Native American. So we already know that. With the indigenous process, I was saying, show me your indigenous process. Like, did you, how did you become indigenous? Because did you revoke all your, con he didn't tell me any of that because I was trying to ask him how can he help the people like I understand this information and everything but what can you do to help me you know uh, get rid of this this government stuff that I that I'm going through you feel me like that we all going through like we we were born with social security cards birth certificates our birth certificates got put up on Wall Street you know what I mean like slave the birth certificates came because of slaves that's why they, they was cataloging slaves and putting them a stock stock market so I was asking about, did he revoke all of this, this stuff like that, you know, that he didn't know about? You know, and the Federal Reserve stuff like that, I was, I was about to start getting to. But this man ran. Soon as I, you know, because I, I presented my status and I changed it because I know I can't just talk about being a Negro. You know what I'm saying? You got to go in the system and change your Negro status. So that's all I was basically saying. And this brother couldn't, couldn't tell me what to do. And all I was trying to do was, Tell them the source, you know, of, of the problem. And the source of the problem is that we, we are operating in the incorrect status. And I can't fix that. I'm not qualified to fix that. All I was going to do was point you guys in the right direction, which is Chief Nanya, far as with changing your status. You, you know, you have to go in the system. And, all right, if you, if you know you're a Native American, so won't you put that in your status? And then if you know you're European and you got mixed European blood, Put that in your status and operate a certain way instead of operating in the uh, incorrect capacity. You people are operating in the incorrect capacity. Most of you, and you, you're wearing Indian clothes and you're doing all of this, but you're just playing dress up. And preacher man, yeah, you're another preacher because you're doing the same thing that these black leaders that, that you talk about that's doing. If you ain't telling people how to fix it, all you're doing is talking about people saying, you know, blah, 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 this, you need to do that, and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm going to tell you, look, I can't fix your status. I, I can point you in the right direction to where it can be fixed. That's all I'm going to tell you. And I ain't going to make a long, super long video. I'm just really touching on the topic, basically, of him putting me out there. Uh, you're a new Wapian. You know, I, got a, I have a tribe. I'm Blackfoot, and I'm Cherokee. You know what I'm saying? That's my lineage. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And European. So, um, I don't know. Like, I don't know what this brother is, was, was, was saying because he's very basic. And that's all I was trying to do was, was, was make it clear. Because he is right. They on the, His people, actually, that post the good information, they're on the right track. They, they be posting good information about our people and how we were here and stuff like that. But what Kerry seemed to do is he tried to separate uh, the tribe, the tribalism. And he wanted it to be a separatist type of movement. And what I mean by that, separatists are people like Ku Klux Klan. You know, these people are socialist uh, separatists. You feel what I'm saying? Because racism don't exist. It's all a game, bro. Racism, you know that. Racism is a game. Because white people are not even white. It's a status. Black people are not even black. It's a status. How can you be a crayon? You get it? This is all I was trying to make. I was trying to make sense of the whole thing. You know, try to, what he was saying, I was actually kind of agreeing until he, these people start attacking me because I was coming from a different angle and they didn't see the angle I was coming from. And you'll look at my videos, you know, 
I'm, I'm not no guru at this. You know, I'm learning as I, as we go along. You get what I'm saying? I learned a whole lot of things in this group. You feel me? I learn stuff everywhere. I go everywhere. I learn, I learn stuff from the Moors. I learn stuff from the New Wapians. You can't, dis, uh, you can't dispel these people. You know what I mean? Won't you educate? And you already know the New Wapians know. And we already got claims to Georgia. And st we doing real things, bro. What are you talking about? You even got uh, the, the, the Asakata Nation, uh, Chief Nanya. He's doing real things, bro. These people are doing real things. Rather if they agree with each other or not. I see progress in both groups. I don't see no progress in your group. All I see is demonization and uh, you make people feel bad. Like if they ain't on your your, your uh, way of thinking. And to me, that's a cult. Or an indoctrination. And you want to say that New Wapians is a cult. But that's a culture. Because we was actually putting culture to the people. You get what I'm saying? You going off of uh, trying to say that. All right, life ain't started in Africa, this and that. Life could have started everywhere like grass did. It's places that, that has grass that's inhabitable. So you can't go off of that, even though it, it, I feel where you're coming from. But you can't, you can't say that's a fact unless you have proof. And you don't have proof. We all know that the hominids started in Africa 3.5 million years ago, and they found the oldest human, what, in America, and it was supposed to say it was about 18,000 to 50,000 years ago. I mean, we all we know that. The people that's researching, the people that know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what are you saying? And we know about uh, Amorica or uh, Mother Mary traveling to Mary, Maryland, Maryland, Eastern Shore. I mean, come on, that's where I'm from. I know who I am. I've been new this since I was a child, but I just didn't, you know, I was I was doing other wild, crazy things. I was never able to get into it. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and say I was always into this, but I'm finding out I'm finding out what I am and who I am. And I don't need you to do it. <laughs> I mean, it's good your information is good, but I don't need you to be on me like Uncle Charles and shit. Uh you 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 just an African American who sit and watch football. Blah, blah, blah. You did that. You don't know what niggas doing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I know we are not niggas, but I, I I just said that because that's how we, we talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to write that down on paper. You get what I'm saying? But, man, come on, bro. Like, I, I, I feel a lot of his points. You know, he got a good information. But when you get into his group, and if you think outside of, of the box of what he has to offer, you are kicked out. And he tried to say that I didn't show no proof, but I did show proof. You get what I'm saying? Of the stuff that we were talking about. He just wanted direct proof of where the new Wapians come from and this and that. And just because I didn't answer him quickly, I got kicked. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, everybody, if you want to know where the new Wapians come from, you just put on the internet. You just go, you got Google. You, you, you're going to have slander and you're going to have good stuff. I mean, come on. You, you can pick what you want to research. It's there. And this wasn't even about that. I was just showing you that we had a chief and we had land. We was doing stuff for the people. You, what are you doing? So I was basically saying, what, what are you doing besides talking about people on the internet? That's all I was trying to say, uh, brother Kerry Davis. What are you doing besides talking about people on the internet? That we need to do this and we need to do that. You, you, I mean, a lot of conscious people already know what they need to do. You get what I'm saying? You're trying to reprogram people. I understand that reprogramming it must take place, but you're not the one to reprogram. You're not the Matrix. You're not Neo. <laughs> so, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> I mean, you got some good information, but you ain't Neo, man. I, I know some Neos, bro. I, I, I ain't Neo either, but I know some. And I know a lot of them, bro. Like, that's definitely going to give you way more information and results than what you're doing. You get what I'm saying? So, when we tell them all this dumb shit, they can't explain. And the reason he was put out of the group, look, y'all, I don't know about you. I don't know about none of the other brothers out there. I don't know about none of the other sisters out there. But from my view on how I'm seeing it, we getting dogged. Hold we up. having foreigners coming over here. They can't explain. And the reason he was put out of the group, look, y'all, See, all right, 
he tried to say I did this. And what I mean by did this is he just jumped off of stuff. He didn't tell you why. <laughs> Let me take it back one more time. He didn't tell you why I was kicked out. And this is the position we put our children in. When we tell them all this dumb shit, they can't explain. And the reason he was put out of the group, look, y'all, I don't know about you. I don't know about none of the other brothers out there. I don't know about none of the other sisters out there. But from my view on how I'm seeing it, we getting dogged. So that's why I was getting kicked. <laughs> I got kicked out of the group because we getting dogged. What kind of shit is that? I, hold on. I got kicked out of the group because I'm the YBN. Or new YPN. And the YBN. I'm both. You know what I mean? Because it's split. Bruh. What are you saying? I don't understand. Yo, this brother, he, he talk about people can't stay on topic, right? And, and can't, does he say he'll attack you if you, you know, if you jump? Because what I do, sometimes I do jump off a topic, but I come back. Like, you know, I, I might come back to something, you know, but... He jumps totally off topic and don't back it up, don't come back. And that's my dog uh, moaning in the background. But, and, you know, New Wapians don't even have dogs, bro. I'm a New Wapian that has a dog, bro. Come on, I'm outside the box. I still, I smoke weed, bro. New Wapians really don't smoke weed. I smoke weed. I do, a, I do shit differently, bro. You feel me? All right. So, ah, shut up. I'm going to listen to him a little bit more. We having foreigners coming over here. I was driving around today, and I mean, all these foreigners living on your land like they at a big ass ski convention. They having fun while you getting up on Saturday working. But and what I was, you know, you said how he said the foreigners is coming. So just because you saying I'm indigenous, you think they not gonna still come? You have to do something about it. You have to you have to get the paperwork done. That's all I was trying to say. Like. You have to get the paperwork done, and even the new operators don't agree don't agree with me with that, you know, because they say that's a, you know, but you already in the system if you was born. Now, if you was born, because most new Wapians, because they've been around since the uh, '60s, so it's a lot of new Wapians that are not in the system at all. That has nothing to do with the system. You get what I'm saying? I like, I mean, really, really indigenous. Like, I mean, come on, bro, you're not you. From the looks of him, I bet he used to be a Christian or something like that when he was younger. Because, you know, he probably was a Christian or just the regular mom was a Christian. So, like, like me, if I had the same thing. Like, come on, I was, a, I was a moor when I was a kid. I was a little kid. My dad was a moor. You know what I mean? I wore the fez. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really a moor now. I mean, I'm not moor by birthright. But I'm not really into that like I was when I was a child. You know what I'm saying? But this man right here, you can tell he just, I mean, but 10 years ago, he probably was a Christian. Man, you just woke up. I, I, hey, bro, I've been knew that God wasn't up there since I was a kid. And I know it's the Wapians that were born just like that. You wasn't born like that, bro. I know you wasn't because you talk like <laughs> it's the stuff you you sound like a Southerner that then I know you're from Cali, but you sound like one of those Southerners that, you know, old school. Like, you know, we got Southerners up north that 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 was, you know, <laughs> I don't I can't explain what I'm saying on that part but let me, let me get it together you know how you could be from new york and you got a grandmother that's like get something out the fridge there that's just how it is it's that's how he is it's got that old swag it's like a southern thing and he getting on you like a, like an uncle or yeah that's what he does like that's your that don't work bruh what can you do what can you show us to help better us as a people besides pictures of people looking like Indians, because we already know we are the indigenous Americans, which means copper color people found by the European in the 1828 Webster's Dictionary. You get what I'm saying? We know all of that. So um, I just wanted y'all to know something that maybe y'all didn't know. You know, maybe y'all can tell me if it's. Do you think it's the right thing to do, or what you think about it? You get what I'm saying? What do you think about going into the system and changing with? They already have you down there as an African American and a black man. They, that's what you are if you haven't went into the system and did it. And then I asked them to show me your paperwork because most of the time, you know, you, they publish the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? But you know, and he didn't do it. I published my little S5, you know, because I actually did it, which was probably a mistake running down there doing that first. You get what I'm saying? But 
anyway, I I did it, and I actually was showing them that it do it. Show show me something that you made an effort, you know, to change your situation as a black man in America. You know, because black men in America are not uh, are actually citizens in wards of the state. You get what I'm saying? See, when you're indigenous, you're supposed to be a sovereign citizen and you have to have paperwork to show that you're a sovereign citizen. And certain paperwork gets published that you have to do when you're a sovereign citizen. And they demonize sovereign citizens, but you need sovereign citizens to have a state or a nation. Because without that, it's not a nation, it's just a corporation. You get what I'm saying? And the citizens pay the debt. They put all the damn debt on the citizen when you got the birth certificate. You know what I mean? Because everybody got a birth certificate now. You know what I'm saying? So everybody is a black slave. Everybody. Even a white man that's not salvage. That's all I was trying to say. You know what I mean? Like, can you tell us any of that information? And I, I, I'm not a guru at this information. I was just trying to bring, I was going to ease, like, you know what I'm saying? Ease that stuff in. Because this is what a lot of the organizations that uh, I might deal with, they, they actually does, does do these things. So, I don't know. Hate it, love it. I just don't understand the brother because I know what's really going on. You know, I, mean? I, I see through the matrix. He don't see through the matrix. He just see at the surface of the matrix, which is good. You know, he's trying to penetrate. But I was trying to trying to help people penetrate through the matrix because this is a matrix. You know what I'm saying? And how you gonna just be a rogue indigenous person running around doing commerce? You get what I'm saying? You rogue. You running around. You, as a, and you're in an uh, incorrect fictional status, so how can you run around in that status doing commerce? I don't know. Look it up. I'm going to put some videos on the link. You can love it or hate it, like it, comment, hate, love it, hit me up, whatever. And I do music. And we'll talk about that. You just hit me up about the music. I got another uh, channel. It's called Akaya Warriors. Akaya Warriors Productions, so you can check that out on YouTube. I got tutorials showing what I do as far as with, with the music on that. So, peace.